I'm Cara Nicoletti and I am a butcher and a cookbook author. I mean for me my favorite part about this brisket dish is that it reminds me of being at home with my family on the holidays. I get really homesick on the holidays for my family so it's really nice to be able to recreate this dish and feel like I'm closer to them. The first step is that you are going to season your brisket on both sides um, with salt and pepper. And I think the, the sauce, the marinade, kind of scares people off when they read it in a recipe because it doesn't seem like those things would come together and make it a nice sauce. But you know, you have prunes, you have garlic, you have orange juice, um, vinegar, crushed tomatoes. It's kind of a weird mixture, but it somehow comes together and it works perfectly. You're gonna heat up a Dutch oven um, over medium-high heat and you're gonna sear your brisket for about four minutes on each side. It, it was really nice cooking on the induction cooktop because it comes up to temperature really quickly um, and it cooks really evenly, so you can get a really even sear and you can caramelize onions a lot quicker than you would on a normal stovetop. And let those simmer with some butter for about 20 minutes. Take the shallots out and set them aside. Take your sauce that you made and you're gonna add half of that to the pot with the onions. And once that comes to a boil, you can add your brisket back into the pot, pour the rest of the sauce over it, put it in the oven at 300 degrees for two hours with the cover on. I grew up in a family that worked professionally in food, so it was sort of a natural progression for me to end up uh, working in food. I tried to get away from it a little bit, but I just always kept making my way back to kitchens and specifically to butchering. After two hours, you're gonna add in your rolling potatoes and your whole shallots and peeled carrots. You're gonna cover the pot and cook it for another hour. And then after that hour is up, you're gonna take the lid off the pot and let it cook for one last hour. The sweet and sour brisket gets made in my family on Rosh Hashanah. You're supposed to eat sweet things for the new year so that you have a sweet new year. Um, so sweet and sour brisket is traditional. I think ingredients, when you look at them separately, do not seem like they're gonna come together to make something good. But I think it's interesting that it comes together to make a sauce that is so familiar to so many people who ate this growing up. I hope people feel comfort when they take a bite of this dish. I hope they feel like they're home and surrounded by people that love them. Great. It's really good. It tastes like being home with my family at the holidays. It's perfect.